In this video, I'll show you how to connect your iPad to your TV using an HDMI cable. This will work with newer TVs like smart TVs, but also with older one, as long as your TV has an HDMI port. What you will need to make this work is, well, obviously the HDMI cable, just a regular one, nothing special really. You probably have already one and an adapter. I have here the pluggable USB-C to HDMI adapter. This USB-C goes to the iPad and the other one, you're gonna plug the cable in it. And by the way, I'll put the links in the description if you want to get any of these on Amazon. Like this, it's easier to find them. Before filming this video, I actually tried the same trick using an USB Type-C dock like this. It, this is the one I was using with my MacBook and it has a USB Type-C and HDMI here, but it didn't work. I don't know why, but yeah, something wasn't going. There was no image on the TV. This one worked first try. I was very impressed. The only downside of this adapter is that your iPad won't be recharging at the same time which means that you'll be able to watch the movie on your TV from your iPad or whatever, but your iPad will lose battery and will simply shut down when it will be at zero. Luckily, Apple actually makes an adapter which you can plug a power source into it. I'll link it in the description as well. And this way you can charge your uh, iPad at the same time as using uh, the HDMI to your TV. So the first step here is to obviously plug the HDMI cable into the port of the adapter like this. Then you're going to take the other end of the HDMI cable and you're going to plug it in the back of your TV in the HDMI port. Here I have three HDMI ports. The first one is free. So I'll just insert the cable like this. So it's on HDMI one. Now take the remote control of your TV and you're going to make sure to select as an input HDMI one. This one. Now, obviously there's nothing on the screen right now since we didn't connect the adapter to the iPad and this is what we are going to do right now. So USB-C to USB-C. All iPads right now have USB-C. So iPad Air, the regular iPad, even the Pro. And once it's connected, well, you can unlock it. And on the top right corner here, you're going to even see a small dongle just showing you that right now it's connected to another device and it's casting its um, screen. As you can see, the screen is perfectly smooth. All the image is there. But what if it doesn't work? Okay. There is a small trick here. You need to go into the settings of your iPad and then go on the left side where you see display and brightness. Tap on it. And on this menu here, you're going to see uh, right there, connected displays. And you're going to see the name of your TV. Mine is an LG, so I'll just tap on it. And here you're going to see high dynamic range, HDR or standard dynamic range. If it doesn't work, just select the other options. Okay, so mine was there and I'll just select standard. Let's say if it didn't work. And uh, well, mine works with both, but actually standard makes my screen flicker slightly. So I will leave it in high dynamic range. But for you, it may be the contrary. So you have to test it out. If it didn't work, what I can suggest you is that you uh, turn off your TV, unplug it from the wall during at least a minute. Let it sit and then plug it back in the wall, turn your TV on and try again. But uh, yeah, I didn't have to do it and I even tried on a Sony TV and it worked first try. So this is it. This is how you plug an iPad. Uh, to your TV using an HDMI cable. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up, a comment if it worked, and uh, I will see you in the next one.